Welcome back. Last episode, we covered the walls part of the exterior, which was the stucco and the siding. This episode, we're gonna go through the remainder of the work done on the exterior, which includes the roof, the gutters, and the HVAC. So let's start with the roof. When we first started the project, this was the existing structure. So what we had to do was first remove the old shingles on the roof. How they did that was workers would anchor themselves with the safety harness on the peak of the roof and they would drop down, they would take these pitchfork shaped items like a garden fork and they would go under these shingles and pry them up. And these would fall off and we would have these dumpster trucks attach the fallen debris. And once that's done, we we're left with basically an exposed wooden roof. And before we put on these new shingles, what we had to do was install the gutters. Gutters are, as you see, these things right here, they catch water, they redirect them to the downspouts. You can see one right there. And main purpose is, so when you're standing under the roof here, you don't just get dripped on with water. Um, but another purpose is so um, when there's heavy rainfall, you want to direct the water to one place that's away from the house. Um, when excess water, amount of water goes into the ground, it softens the soil and could cause problems such as a shifting foundation. So um, we first had to install the gutters. They go, they're, they're nailed down using like a tab on the roof and then the shingles go over them. So um, they had to go in first. After we're done with the gutters, what we did was they brought in the sh roof shingles and that this part is actually pretty interesting. They come in with a truck. It's kind of like a fire truck with a extendable conveyor belt, almost like a fire truck's ladder. So they take this ladder, they lay it on top of the roof and they have one guy on the bottom, one guy on top of the roof, and he would basically pass these boxes of shingles using the conveyor belt to the top of the roof where they would then strap them in for um, for later use. And once you get all these boxes on top of the roof, um, these workers come come back up and um, they they take these wood shingle pieces. This is what, like kind of like how they come in, except they come in one by three feet pieces. So imagine this, like kind of three of these, but longer. And they would come with these tabs. They take these nail guns and they nail this part in on top and they would overlay basically many pieces of this um, until it until they fill up the roof. So it's kind of like installing tile. This is actually fairly easy. This happens in, um, the demolition happens in, in like one day and installation happened in two days. So all this was pretty quick by construction standards. I couldn't really get good footage of the roof installation because it was pretty dangerous. So I wasn't able to participate and well, it was pretty high up. So it was really difficult to film. So. I will now attempt to give you a close-up of what the roof looks like here. So for air conditioning units, you basically have two options. You can go with central air or ductless mini split system. With central air, what you get are basically vents on the floors, walls, or ceilings. And you have a central thermostat where you can control the temperature of the entire house. What's great about these things are that they're very easy to install. You have these vent ducts inside the walls and you run them during a framing. And they lead to an outdoor compressor unit, which basically serves to push in hot or cold air. Um, the downside of these things is that these vent ducts um, do need maintenance and they're inside the walls, which is more difficult to access. And with these things, you can really only control the temperature of the entire house all at once, so you can't control individual rooms. If you want that functionality, you would have to go with the ductless mini split system, which is what we have here. This is an indoor unit for a ductless mini split system. And what this is, is it's the same idea, except you don't run the line set um, inside the walls, you run it in the exterior of the walls. And each indoor room, which you want to control, will have one of these units, which you can turn on and off individually. 
So the benefit of these is that you do save on energy costs because you don't have to heat up the entire house. But the downside is that these indoor units are more expensive each and the insulation of the ductless mini split system is more expensive than central air. So this right here is the outdoor condenser unit. What this does is there's a fan and there are several coils and it intakes outside air. It passes them through the coils to cool them and it pushes them through the intake pipe back to the indoor AC units. And this you see here is the line set. This runs outside the exterior throughout the walls back into the indoor units. And inside this line set is basically an intake pipe that takes the air from here. And there's a drain pipe, which any coolant or any excess liquids, it pushes back out. So to give you a better view, this line set runs all the way from the outdoor condenser here up the wall, across the exterior to the back of the house. It's this white pipe right here. It goes in here inside the bedroom to the indoor AC unit. And it keeps going here over to the other side to the, out, uh, to the indoor unit of the living room. So with that, we've wrapped up on all the exterior work of the house. Stay tuned next episode as we move on to the interior finishes of the house.